got plants. We do. We'll talk about them in a minute, but I'd like to sing a song. Okay. Do well, you want I'd to like sing? to grab my guitar. Oh, I love it when he does that. I haven't played my guitar for a little while for you guys. A couple days. Oh. Ooh. Sounds like it got cold, huh? <laughs> oh, that's the wrong key. <laughs> I want to be like a tree planted by the water, trusting in the Father to keep me strong. I want to be like a tree planted by the water, trusting in the name of the Lord. I want to be like a tree planted by the water, trusting in the Father to help me to be like a tree planted by the water, trusting in the name of the Lord. The deeper the roots go, the better the fruits grow, the blessings will bow for all to see. The deeper the roots go, the more my life shows that Jesus is the Lord of me. I want, want to, to be like a tree planted by the water, trusting in the I like the motions to that song, and sometime I'm going to teach you them. But not tonight, I guess, because I was holding the music. Yeah. That's okay. All right, read your story. All right, our story is called Roots. Here, why don't you get in the picture a little more? Oh. Scoot over a little. There okay. You go. I thought you wanted to look at the plant. Well, you can still see the plant. And he shall be like a tree. Did you know that that is a Bible verse? He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf shall also not wither, and whatsoever he do, doth Will shall prosper. prosper. Psalm 1-3. One. One, be like a tree. Mm -hmm. When we think of roots, we usually think of the thread-like or woody growths that spread out underground and supply <coughs> plants with food. Do you see the roots in this plant? And this is, what is this, a verbena? That's a verbena. Looks like and that. it's going to have flowers on it that are going to be peach color. So I have a little six pack here. Yeah. We're going to plant them. So those are little thready roots, don't you think? Are we going to try to pull the roots out on this one? Mm, bueno. Okay. But we do have that. these other kind of plants that have different types of roots. These, I have a handful of air plants. So these aren't planted in anything at all, but they still have roots. If they live on dust, these guys should thrive. Oh, they do. Love the farm. Only house. if we squirt them. They, they like to have a little squirt of water every day. And that keeps their roots moist, too. They have to have moisture. Hmm. So there are all kinds of roots, aren't there? Mm-hmm. There's root 142, that's out front. That's a different one altogether. Route 91. That goes north and south here in Vermont. Don't confuse us. Those are different roots. That's a route, not a root. Oh. Anywho, we're talking about R-O-O-T-S, not R-O-U-T-E-S. Okay. Mm. Okay, here we go. Is that related to a rutabaga? Isn't that a root? That is a root vegetable. A root abega. But it's a R-U-T. Oh, don't get stuck in a rut. <laughs> ah, we're going to try again. We're having worship. Can you settle down? <laughs> ah. All right. But do you know how long roots can be and how strong they really are? An alfalfa plant only... I was just thinking about alfalfa because I'm a farmer. And you can dig down an alfalfa root like 25 feet or something. They get crazy long. Well, maybe they'll have something to say about it too. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> let's hear it. 
An alfalfa plant only a foot high may have roots reaching out as much as 30 feet. If you pull all the roots of a corn plant end to end in one continuous strand, it might be 400 to 500 feet long. Woo! Wow. Roots of the California redwoods have been known to occupy as much as 50,000 cubic feet of subsoil. That is so what's the cube root of 50,000? Oh, brother, you tell me. I don't know what's your, do you have your phone there? Mm, I don't. Oh, it's over there. Yeah. Okay, I'll find I'm going to keep is. reading. You read. But the deepest that a root has ever been known to penetrate the ground was in Africa, where an acacia tree root was found at a depth of about 150 feet. Wow. How tall is a silo? Those are about 70. 70 feet, so taller but than a silo. More than twice as tall as a silo. You've what seen the silo. What is a cube root of 50,000? Do you think she knows? Okay. About 37. What does that mean? 37 feet by 37 feet by 37 feet. Oh, that's a cube. Anywho, moving along. It was a volume. We'll talk about cube roots another time. Okay. She's <laughs> trying to teach Beth. I know, but they didn't want to hear the story. Well, I was curious what the answer was myself. Okay. So I wasn't maybe necessarily teaching so much as just curious. Okay, so we were talking about the California redwoods, and then we moved on to the cubic Acacia, feet 150 thing. 150 feet deep. But the deepest root that's in ever is in Africa. Acacia. The acacia root, which was found was at the listening. depth of twice the height of Our silos. a silo. That's pretty, pretty long root. Mm -hmm. Roots may have to break through compacted soil, stone, or concrete to establish themselves and continue growing. The strength of a determined root is immeasurable, and even the tiniest rootlet can push aside small obstacles and pierce hard soil. When tree roots become wedged in granite, the granite usually splits, while the roots, which look soft and fragile by comparison, stubbornly continue to grow. The main thing roots are after is water, because where there is plenty of water, there will be adequate plant food and a means of transporting it up into the plant above. That is why a row of trees along a stream always looks so much healthier than the same kind of trees further away from the water supply. Unless the water supply is polluted. Ooh. Our text says that a man who, whose delight is in the law of the Lord shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. The Christian has a permanent super, oh boy, has a permanent spiritual water supply in Jesus. Jesus said, I am the water of life. The Christian has a permanent spiritual water supply in Jesus, and his spirit has been given to help us send down our roots deep in search of the true and living water. Right now, you should determine to be rooted and grounded in Jesus. Such grounding brings strong faith, strong enough to move a mountain of difficulty just as a fragile root can move a boulder. I've seen it many times. Faith. Yeah. Roots, guys. Send your roots down. Deep. Deep roots. Deep into God's word. Yep. Will you pray? I will. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for these object lessons that you've given to us, that we can look at tiny plants that seem so fragile, and yet they're able to send their roots down, 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 even through hard rock. And Lord, we pray that you would help us to be 
seekers after you, just like these roots are seeking water, that we would go through the hard times to be able to find you. We pray that we would not be discouraged, but that we would just keep on pursuing you, knowing that you love us and that you desire to anchor us and keep us strong pillars for you. We thank you and we come in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know what? It just occurred to me. What? It's going to be the preparation day for these guys when they see this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope you guys have a happy Sabbath. There's going to be Sabbath school this week. Yeah. It should be fun. It's going to have a little different flavor, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. It'll be fun. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, fire. Ooh. Aww. Rock has scissors. You know what I was thinking? Instead of rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors. What, what scissors, I was thinking cuts, paper. was rock, roots, and water. Maybe you could come up with a game with rock, roots, and water. Rocks, roots, Roots and can water. break rocks. Yeah, roots could break rocks, and rock. water... Water only helps. That's a helping game. Yeah, maybe things grow. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we can get things to grow we'll think instead about of that. breaking. Love you guys. Love you.